Hey guys, Barry Nissen here from Epic Cycles. In today's video, we will review the SW900 display. Specifically, I will go over the functionalities of this display used with our Epic Blue Rev products. It's important to note that the functionalities of the display, the SW900 display, may differ slightly with other products or also depending on the production date. So let's uh, learn about this display and dig right into it. The control functions are controlled by the three buttons on the display controller to the left of the display, which include an up arrow, multi-function button, and down arrow. There are many different functions you can control when using the SW900 display, which I will walk you through step by step momentarily and explain what each function does and how it will change the way your bike will operate. To get started, you'll first want to make sure your battery is on and then turn on your display by simply holding the multi-function button in the middle for a couple seconds. Once the display is turned on, you will see various functions organized within the grid boxes commonly referred to as the dashboard. Each box will contain relevant information to your current settings or status of your bike. The top left right here uh, will display your battery uh, and show you how much power you have left. This is uh, shown by five notches. So this one you could tell is uh, fully charged. Each notch is uh, approximately is basically 20% of uh, battery life. The top right, you have your current trip mileage and total lifetime odometer reading, which can be toggled between each other by simply tapping the multifunction button. So you can see this bike here is very fresh, brand new, has no kilometers on it. Uh, trip, trip is actually zero. Odometer is, total lifetime is one kilometer. Okay, and the midsection right over here, this is your speedometer, it's an active speedometer which will display the current speed your bike is moving at. Uh, the bottom right displays the wattage, total wattage, which is also a live measure. Similarly to the speedometer, you'll want to keep an eye on your wattage while riding so you don't overextend the bike. The more uh, power you exert, the higher the wattage will be. So this is similar and comparable to the RPM reading found in an automobile. The bottom left over here where it says PAS, this is your pedal assist mode, which can be controlled by the up and down arrows on your display controller. So you can move it up all the way up to six, actually up to nine, depending on what grade level assist you have, which we'll get into that shortly when I get into the advanced functions. Uh, the higher the level, the more motor energy and power assistance you will get from both pedal assist and throttle. Depending on your settings, typically a level one with a grade five PAS setting will give you a power, a motor power assistance up to 15 kilometers in speed. Level two, up to 22 kilometers. Level three, up to 27 kilometers. Level four, up to 32 kilometers. Level five, up to 40 kilometers per hour of motor assistance. To get into the advanced settings, simply hold up and down arrow at the same time for a few seconds. So let's do that. The advanced settings have several different functions that you can control, which will change how, change how your bike performs. P1, the first setting that you see here, this will allow you to select how bright you want the backlight of your display to be, one being the dimmest and three being the brightest. This does time out after a couple seconds, so let me get back into it by holding the two buttons. So I'll show you that. So here's one dimmer, two is the middle, middle level, and three being the brightest. Okay. Uh, to get to the next setting, you just tap M, which is the multifunction button. P2 will allow you to select either miles or kilometers per hour. Selecting zero will give you a reading in kilometers, uh, while one will give you a reading in miles per hour. So I, you can see as I toggle between them, zero is kilometers, one is miles. So we're going to stick to kilometers per hour. Uh, P3 is the power voltage of the battery and motor you're using. Typically, this will be set by the factory at the correct setting of your bike. In this case, we're using a 48 volt bike and therefore we want to keep it at 48 volts. Let's get back into that. So here we're set to 48, but as you can see, you can set it down to 36 or 24. We're going to keep this at 48. Uh, 
Uh, P4 is the sleep time of your display. So you can choose between zero to 60 minutes of idle time before your display automatically powers off. If you choose zero, actually, you will disable the sleep mode and the bike will never automatically turn off or go into sleep mode. So I like to personally keep it at 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes of idle, your display will turn off. P5, this is for pedal assist mode. Uh, with the Blue Rev bikes, you have three choices. Zero is for three grades of pedal assist. Uh, um, assist one is for five grades of pedal assist, and two is for nine grades of pedal assist. The more grades of pedal assist you select, the more gradual the motor will be. So again, this will be based on user preference. Uh, P6 will allow you to select your wheel size, which will help accurately display your speed and mileage based on revolutions of your tires. It is important to make sure that you have the right size selected, otherwise your speedometer and odometer reading will always be off and inaccurate. So in our case, with the Ultra Bike that we're using, it is a 20, uh, 20 inch wheel, so we're gonna keep it at 20, but as you can see, you can go, go up from uh, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 70, which is a 700C or 28, 29 inch tire. So let's leave that here at 20. Um, P7 is the speed measuring magnet. This is usually set by the factory and you don't want to touch this. Please stick to the default setting. P8 is, the is actually your speed limit governor, which ranges between 10 and 41 kilometers. Uh, if you are concerned about safety and you want to limit your uh, motor power to a maximum of 30 kilometers, this can be done by selecting 30, such as it is here. But if you want to juice it up, you can go all the way up to 41. So now this bike will go up to a speed of 41 kilometers per hour. Uh, P16 displays your total odometer. So as I showed earlier, we had one kilometer on the bike. Here it shows one kilometer. So whatever your total odometer is, we'll just show here. And P18, P18, the final setting, is uh, a factory reset. You can do a factory reset of all the settings that you've changed on your display simply by holding the up button for about five seconds. It will sh display uh, four fives. This indicates that your uh, display has been reset to the original factory settings. And uh, that's pretty much it. And one other function that I'd like to mention is that if you hold the up button for a couple seconds, this will activate your headlight and rear tail light as well. To turn it off, you can hold the up button again. And there you have it guys. Thank you for watching the video. I hope it was uh, informative and helpful for you. If you still have some questions about this display, please comment below and don't forget to subscribe so you can uh, stay informed and in the know of any other related videos. Uh, have a great day.